Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I wanted to go over a new router system that I've got. And I picked up from Costco's the new Netgear Nighthawk Mesh Network. It's the AX1800 or the MK63 I think it is from Costco's. It is right now at time of recording $250 and you get three components. You get the one main unit and two satellite units. And I've got this to replace my old mesh network that I've been having some issues with. So as you can see, the two satellites, they're identical. They have the one Ethernet port, power, sync button. And you can hook up a Ethernet cable to those to run a hardwired connection off of it with a switch of some sort if you have multiple connections. And that will give you the ability to put hardwired items on your devices at the location of the satellite. And as you can see here, the main unit, the only thing different is it has the internet uh, port. It's pretty small. It's about uh, four and a half inches by four and a half inches, about two and a half inches tall. It's got this neat little cube pattern on the top and actually those are slits to allow for cooling to come through. And in the box, it's pretty straightforward. You get a quick start guide. You get the one main unit, two satellites, three power uh, adapters, and the ethernet cable. Um, they want you to do the setup with the uh, app as it's showing there in the uh, quick start because there's no manual. You would have to look up the manual online if you did have questions. And I will go over once I get it set up how to do some more of the advanced features on there that's not in the app and you can do it from your computer. So you can do the setup through the computer if you wanted to. So what I'm doing is I've had this Google system for quite a while now and I found out that it's just dropping signals every once in a while. And I've had it for about four years and it's worked good. I have a dead spot in my house and whatever I tried, every router, just wouldn't make the coverage. So the mesh, it did give me a little better coverage in there, but it um, was just not as quick as I was hoping it would be. And since it's kind of four years old, I figured I would give it an update and kind of see what the new systems, especially the Wi-Fi 6, will bring. I don't have any devices that will work on the Wi-Fi 6, but I do know that with the the multiple connections or the more connections that you have, the Wi-Fi 6 is supposed to improve speed of your existing network. So at the time, I think I'm running about 43 devices on my network. So I've got quite a few. So I'm hoping that this is going to alleviate that kind of slow dead spot in my bonus room upstairs and maybe get me up to running at full capacity again. So before I set up the Nighthawk, let's run a speed test here on my old system. And of course this is going through Google and this is connected directly to my cable modem the way it's testing the network speed. So this will give me a true representation of what my speed is at the cable modem. And as you can see here, I'm at 191. I pay for 200. So here it is. I'm going to check in my den on my phone, which is an AC device. And let's just see now on Wi-Fi what I'm getting. And as you can see, not quite 106. So not as fast as I would hope it would be. And now let's go up to the bonus room where I'm really having a trouble. And as you can see, it's okay, but you know, 59, uh, it's hard to stream movies up there. So anyway, now let's set up the new system and I'll come back and show you some results. The setup was straightforward, nothing uh, um, out of the ordinary, just follow the directions and everything went pretty smooth. So what I've got done here is I'm going into the app and testing the speed at the cable modem. So again, this is doing a comparison of stomach coming straight off the cable modem and into the router. And this thing takes a long time, but uh, I've sped it up here. But as you can see, you know, I'm getting pretty good speeds. I'm almost at 200 and you know for the download speeds so now i'm going to go over to my cell phone same spot as before where i only had like over a hundred and let's see what it does here and again same spot and as you can tell my speeds have increased i mean that was you know i was getting 100 before 
and now well over 200. So that was a great improvement. But now on to the bonus room and let's see what happens here. And same results. Uh, I think before I had around 56 download and you can see here 59. So it was a little bit of an improvement in the bonus room, but no, I wouldn't call it anything great. But everywhere else in the house that I've tested, it has come back great. So now let's go on to the setup screens. So on the setup screen, I'm doing it from the browser. Uh, some of these advanced features are not available on the app, so I want to kind of show you some of the things you can use in the advanced app, like port forwarding, static IP addresses, and just a little more detail that you can get here with logs and so forth that you can't get on the app. But that, of course it shows everything that the app has. You can get all your network information, your connected devices, status of all the satellite devices. But where I want to go is I want to go into the advanced tab. Because in the advanced tab, it's going to give you the areas where you can do the setup. It also gives you all your, your internet addresses and everything. But let's go into the setup here. And we want to go down to the LAN setup. And here's where you can pick your devices. And this is where you can reserve uh, static IP addresses. So what you want to do, um, let's say you have one. I'm going to do one here. It's my camera and uh, you can see it, all the IP addresses for all your connected devices are listed. But mine is 33 here. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna select it. And then you want to go in and just name it. Uh, I'm just gonna name it cameras because it's my camera system. And just type that in. And then we'll just do um, add. And now that is reserved so each time the system comes up it will not be issued a new IP address. Uh, I have to do port forwarding on some of these devices so I like to assign um, static IP addresses that way the IP address doesn't change. So a second thing that I like to do is like I said the port forwarding. So in the port forwarding it's in the advanced tab and we just want to go in here and you can select from the the drop down um, the, the various types, but if you have some weird ones like my cameras, I don't have them on port 80, which would be the HTTP. I'm going to do the add a custom. So I can go in and do an add custom, and here it would allow me to pick the um, port like 85 to go in and actually put in a custom port ID. So you can do this for multiple um, devices. And once you're finished, you're just going to hit apply. And like I said, these are some things that don't show up in the, the, the app. And I found it a lot easier to work from the, the actual browser. And like I said, this just go through and select everything. And you can pick your device. And of course, it has them all listed. And then once you hit it, you just add. And that's it for doing the port forwarding. And uh, so now you can just go back to the basic screen here and get an overview. So kind of in conclusion here, I wanted to say that uh, overall the speeds I've noticed around the house are better. Uh, I still have the one issue in the bonus room and I'm still going to do a little more testing on that. Uh, the devices do, you can check the status of them here. It does say I actually have the satellite in the office, but there's just something in there that's killing the Wi-Fi signal. I'm going to try moving it to another location and see if that will help. Um, but I do have to keep it close because I have to hook my cameras up to that location. So um, I need a wired uh, device or the cameras are wired so I have to have the, the be able to plug it directly into the Ethernet cable so but overall I mean I am kind of pleased with it um, I probably would not have upgraded if it wasn't for the fact that I was running into issues with my current router the um, the Google router but uh, I do like the increased speeds the the kids were really complaining since we're all quarantined at home the a lot of a lot of streaming going on 
and they were starting to complain about that. Uh, even some of the networking with my job was the, the videos would cut out a little bit. So I can uh, pretty sure that this is going to fix those problems. But uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good system. The uh, I've liked the Nighthawk brand. I know the I got the first Netgear Nighthawk when they first came out many years ago and it had the best reception on it all throughout the house except for the bonus room but the signal outside was excellent I'm living on a half acre and I could go all over my yard and have a strong signal um, I just got tired of putting the network extenders up there trying to get the range and it just wouldn't work so I have to run a mesh system and another thing that I'm looking at doing is the one in the office I do have a wired ethernet and my configuration is the router is set up in the probably not the center of the house but kind of off to one center and the office I do have a hardwired connection so this does allow a backbone connection from one point to another I might try that because my bonus room is on the second floor diagonally up from the office so maybe it will pick up on the signal from the wired puck and might get some better speed so if I do get some increased speeds I'll show you how my setup is running and in a future video but anyway I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below don't forget to hit the thumbs up and that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you'll know when I'm putting out new videos but anyway y'all have a great day and thank you so much